Hey guys, welcome back to the next part of the Sub-Zero Pixel Art tutorial. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this one, so let's jump right in. And we're going to be pretty much finishing off these two empty large spaces. And hopefully we'll get to the center, a little bit of the center done in this tutorial part. So we're going to start off first with the obsidian block. Let's switch to the obsidian and let's let's start down here. We're going to work in this smaller empty space, but let's start down here towards the bottom left. And we're going to start on top of this black wall here. It's also next to the nine black walls that are going across to the left. So starting from there, we're going to be placing six obsidian blocks going across to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And now place one block going up to the left. So that's one. And now we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the obsidian. So fill this in. And now that we've done that, we're going to be switching over to the lapis block. Let's switch over to the lapis block. And while we do that, let's see. We're going to start, let's say, from this one obsidian block that we placed, we're going to skip a space going to the right. So skipping a block space, skipping that space, moving over. And starting from there, leaving one block gap in between the obsidian and lapis so from there we're going to be placing two sets of twos going up on the right so that's one two one and one two two and now we're going to do the same thing we did right there we're just going to go back down here we're going to skip a space and now start from there and just place one lapis block there so that's one and then place another block going up to the right so that's one and it should look like that. Very simple. Now we're going to be switching over to the placement block. Put a placement block on top of this lapis block. So put one block there. Switch back over to the lapis. Starting on top of the placement, we're going to be placing two blocks going across to the right. So that's one, two. Let's get rid of that. Next, we're going to be placing three blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, three. And now place six blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's fly over, get rid of that placement. Let's fly back over here to the left. Now starting on top of the left block of these two lapis blocks, so starting from here, we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one, two, and three. Let's get rid of those placements, head back up, and now we're going to be placing three sets of twos going up on the right. That's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. Now let's get rid of those placements, let's head back up, and now we're going to be placing three blocks going up on the right. That's one, two, three. Let's get rid of that. And now place one block going up to the right. That's one. And now we're going to be placing one block going up to the left. So we're switching sides just for a sec. Going up to the left. That's one. Now that we've done that, let's head back again to this first lapis that we went up to the right with. So from this block, we're going to be placing three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two, three. And now place six blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's fly over, get rid of that. And now we're going to be switching over to the obsidian block again. And with the obsidian, let's head over here to the left, top left corner of this empty space. And starting underneath this black wall here, we're going to be adding five obsidians going across to the right. So that's one, two, three, four. Five. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing four, not four, two sets, two sets of fours going across the upper level to the right. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, two. 
you can see that we left this empty space up here since we closed it with the obsidian. So we're going to fill in this empty space with the obsidian block. So go ahead and do that now. Fill it with obsidian, and it should look like that. Now we're going to be switching over to the blue wool for just a moment. Now with the blue wool, let's head all the way back down here to the left. And we're going to be filling in this empty space down here to the left with the blue wool. So just fill this area here with blue. Between the black, the lapis, and obsidian. So it should look like that. Now once you've done that, we're going to be filling in this single empty space here. It's just one single space that is outside of the lapis outline that we placed. So we're going to be filling in this empty space that's surrounding the lapis. Not inside of it, not that large space, just everything surrounding it. So let's just fill this in. We're not going to time lapse it because it doesn't require it. Just a small little filling in surrounding the lapis outline that we just made. So let's fill that in. And there we go. Alright, so now that we've filled that in, we're going to be switching back over to the lapis, but we're also going to be using the cyan wool. So let's switch to that block first, and then we can continue on with the lapis a little later. So starting off with the cyan wool, we're going to go all the way back down here, starting at the bottom left corner of it. And we're going to be starting from these three lapis blocks. Starting on top of the middle block of the three, we're going to be placing one cyan wool, so that's one. And now we're going to be placing one block going up to the left. That's one. And once you've done that, we're going to be heading back down here to the right a bit, going back to these six lapis blocks. And we're going to start from the left block, and from this left block, we're going to move one block over to the right. So we're going to start from there, starting from this block. Now starting on top of it, so starting from there, right here, we're going to be placing four blocks going diagonal up to the left so four diagonal that's one two three and four now let's get rid of the placements now that we've done that we're gonna head all the way back up here to the right going up to let's say these three lapis blocks and we're gonna start underneath the middle block of the three so starting from there we're just gonna be placing one lapis block so that's one and then we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. So that's one. Next, we're going to be placing two sets of threes going down on the left. So that's one, two, three, one. And one, two, three, two. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing four blocks going down on the left side. So... It's going to be 1, 2, 3, and 4. Let's fly up. Get rid of that placement. And now we're going to be flying back down. And now we're going to be switching sides. We're going to go to the right. We're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So that's 1, 2. And now place one block on top of the right block of these two cyan walls. So place one block there. And now that we've done that, we're going to, let's say, switch over to the lapis block. Just get this out of the way. Switching over to the lapis block, we're going to start on top of the left block of these two cyan walls. So starting from there, we're going to be placing uh, three sets. Oops, there we go. Three sets of threes going up on the right with the lapis block. So starting from there, that's one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. And one, two, three, three. Let's get rid of the placements. Let's head back up here. And we're going to close this area off by placing two blocks going up on the right. So that's one, two. Now let's fly down. Let's get rid of those placements. And now we're going to be switching over to the light blue wool now. So let's switch over to the light blue wool. And we're going to head all the way back down here. Back to this one cyan wool, and we're going to start on top of it with the, la uh, with the light blue wool. And starting on top of this cyan wool, we're going to be tracing the outline of the lapis block. And we're going to stop next to these two lapis blocks. We're not going to go any further above it. So we're going to start 
or I should say, we're going to stop next to these two. So let's go back down here. Starting from this cyan wall, let's just trace the outline of the lapis block with the light blue wall. And we're going to stop right there, not go any further than that. So again, make sure to pause the video. Now, if you need to, just compare. It's just a very simple tracing the outline there. And once we've done that, we're going to be switching back over to the lapis block, and we're going to head back down here. Back again to the two cyan walls, starting on the right side of the two, so from there. We're going to be placing two lapis blocks going up, so that's one, two. And now place three sets of threes going up on the right. That's one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. Now let's get rid of the placements. Let's head back up. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the right. That's one, two. And I'll place one block going up to the right. That's one. Once we've done that, we're going to be switching over to the light blue wool. And we're going to head all the way back down here. We're going to start from the top block of these two lapis blocks on the right side of it. So starting from right there starting point we're going to be tracing the lapis block going all the way up to the right and stopping next to this one lapis block up here so again starting from here on top of the right block not down there but up here let's trace the outline with the light blue wool and when you're done it should look like that Now we're going to be switching over to the cyan wall, and with the cyan wall, let's head back down here. And let's go back again down here to this one uh, light blue wall, and starting underneath it, we're going to be placing two cyan walls going across to the right. So that's one, two. And now place one cyan wall on the right side of this light blue. Let's put one block there. And once you've done that, we're going to be doing something a little interesting. Let's head all the way back up here to the right, going back to this one light blue wall. Now, starting underneath it with the cyan wall, we're going to be placing two sets of twos going down on the left. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Now, once you've done that, we're going to head one block over to the left. In other words, just move over to the left, and we're going to head to these three light blue walls, and underneath them... We're going to be adding two cyan walls, so that's one and two. Now we're going to do the exact same thing. We're just going to move one block over to the left, and we're going to find ourselves at these three light blue walls. And underneath it, we're going to be adding two cyan walls going down. So that's one and two. Now I'm going to fly back a bit. So you can see that everything should look exactly like this. So go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. So what we're going to be doing next is switching over to the lapis block, and with the lapis block, we're going to be filling in every single empty space that's right here. All of these empty spaces right here. Obviously, not the large one, obviously. Just all of these here. So let's fill everything now with the lapis block. Now that we have everything outlined. There we go. This was really, really easy. Not too hard at all to follow, especially since you've gotten to this part of this whole tutorial series on how to make Sub-Zero. And again, a huge shout out to all of you who've completed Scorpion for actually starting this Sub-Zero tutorial. I know there's a good amount of you that done that. Very proud of every single one of you. Not just uh, for completing Scorpion or on your way to completing Sub-Zero, if, if you completed any of my tutorials. It's a big accomplishment. Uh, let's see. What we're going to do next is we're going to head back down here. We're going to do all of this. It's going to be very simple. It's not going to be any complicating thing like it was up there in those uh, top sections. It's going to be very, very simple. And it just includes patterns, which I love patterns because it requires the minimum of explanation. <laughs> uh, it literally does. Okay, so we're going to switch over to the, let's say, lapis block. It should be an easy thing. Uh, no, not the lapis block. Okay. <laughs> I was wondering why I kept hovering over the obsidian. The obsidian block, we're going to start off with the obsidian block. Even subconscious Felix knew that we had to start off with the obsidian. I just couldn't think straight. Okay, 
Starting off with the obsidian, we're going to head all the way up here to the top left corner of this empty space, which is underneath these two black wolves. So starting from there, all you're going to be doing is just tracing the outline, going all the way down here to the right, and we're going to stop next to these 18 black wolves. So we're going to stop there, next to it. We're not going to start placing blocks going underneath those 18 black wolves. So again, let's just trace the outline here with the obsidian, going down to the right. Very nice and simple. And there we go. We traced the outline and we stopped next to these 18 blocks that went across. So now that we stopped underneath these five black wolves that we traced with the five obsidians here, starting from the right block of it, we're going to be placing 21 blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's 21. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. That's 21 blocks. And once you've done that, you're going to be placing three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two, three. And now two blocks going down on the right. That's one and two. And now we're going to be placing three sets of threes going down on the left. So that's one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two, and one, two, three, three. Now let's get rid of the placement blocks. Head back down here and close it off by placing one block going down to the left. That's one. Now I'm going to fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Now what we're going to be doing next is we're going to be filling in all of these empty spaces here that we left behind in between the obsidian and the black wool. We're going to be filling those in with the obsidian now. So let's fill those in. Very nice and simple. So when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. So now we're going to be switching over to the lapis block. And with the lapis block, we're going to head all the way back over here to the left. And we're going to start at the bottom left corner of this large empty space. So we're going to move down here. And instead of starting on top of this grass block, we're going to do the same thing we did up there. Uh, we're going to skip a block space and we're going to move over here to the right. So we're going to start there on top of that grass block. Now starting from there, we're going to be placing five lapis blocks going up. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to be placing four blocks going up on the right. That's one, two, three, four. And now place three blocks going up on the right. That's one, two, three. And now place one block going up to the right. That's one. Now from this one block, we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the right. That's one, two. And now place four blocks going up on the right. That's one, two, three, four. Next, we're going to start from the top block of these four lapis blocks. On the right side of it, we're going to be placing one lapis block. So that's one. And now from this one block, we're going to be placing another block going down to the right. So that's one. And now from this lapis block, we're going to be placing three sets of twos going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. Now let's get rid of the placements and head back down here. And we're going to be placing three sets of threes going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, three, one. 1, 2, 3, 2, and 1, 2, 3, 3. And now let's get rid of those placements. Now let's head back over here to the right, and we're going to be placing 5 blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Next, we're going to be placing 
21 blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So that's 21. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Now let's fly over. Let's get rid of that placement block. And now we're going to fly it back. And now we're going to switch over to a placement block. Now with a placement block, we're just going to be adding one block to the right side of the 21 lapis block. So put one placement there. Then you're going to switch over to the lapis block. Starting on the right side of this placement, we're going to be adding two lapis going down. So that's one, two. And now let's get rid of that placement. And now we're going to switch over to the la uh, not the lapis, but the placement again. Now starting underneath these two lapis, so from there we're just going to be placing two placements down underneath it. So that's one, two. And now let's switch back over to the lapis, starting from the bottom block of these two on the left side. So from here, we're going to be placing two lapis going down. So that's one and two. Now let's get rid of those placements. Let's head back down, and this time we're going to do the exact same thing again. So with the placement block, add two more placements underneath these two lapis. So that's one, two. Now switch back over to the lapis. Starting from the bottom block on the left side, we're going to be adding two blocks going down. So that's one, two. Let's get rid of those placements. Let's head back down. And now we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. And I place three blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two, three. It should look like this. Now we're going to head back up here, going back to the 21 lapis blocks that we had going across. Starting from the right block of the 21, underneath this block here, we're going to be adding three blocks going down. So that's one, two, three. And you can see it's making contact with these other two blocks. Now, starting from the three blocks that we just had going down, so starting from this block, the bottom block of it, we're going to be placing a linked three blocks going down on the left. That's a linked. So that's one, two, and three. Next, we're going to be switching over to the blue wool and add two blue wools going down underneath the three linked lapis blocks. So that's one, two. And now place one blue wool going down to the left. That's one. And let's see. I'm um, trying to think where should we start from here or the left side. I'd say we start from the left side. Okay. Uh, let's start off with the one that doesn't look like a pattern side first. And then we'll transition into patterns a little bit easier. So, to do this, do, 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 we're going to have to switch over to the blue wool. And with the blue wool, we're going to head back up here to this area. Again, we're on the left side of this large area. Going up here to the left, going back to these lapis blocks up here. And we're going to start from this one lapis block that's making contact with this other one that's up here. And then these two lapis that are down here. So, go to this one lapis block. Underneath it, we're just going to be placing one blue wool. So, that's one. Now switch over to the placement block, add two placements underneath the blue wool. So that's one, two. Switch back over to the blue. On the left side of the bottom, we're going to be placing one blue wool. So that's one. I get rid of the two placements. And now we're essentially going to keep doing the exact same thing that we just did here. So switch over to the placement, go down here. Underneath this blue wool, place two placements going down. That's one, two. Wait, that's one, and two, there we go, Minecraft. And now we're going to be switching over to the blue wool. From the bottom block on the left side, place one blue wool. So that's one. Now let's keep doing this until we hit the four lapis blocks down there. So again, switch over to the placement, add two placements going down. Switch to the blue. From the bottom on the left, place one blue. Now get rid of the placements. Switch back again to the place uh yeah placements and add two of them going down underneath this blue so that's one two switch back over to the blue from the bottom on the left place another blue wool so that's one get rid of the placements then switch back to them again underneath the blue 
add two placements, switch over to the blue. From the bottom on the left, place one blue wool. And it should end right there once it makes contact with the with the lapis blocks here. Four lapis blocks. So let's get rid of the placement blocks. We'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. It shouldn't have been too hard at all to follow. Okay, so now this is where... Uh, comes in the patterns, which is going to make our lives so much easier, because this is going to be the easiest thing. Alright, so we're going to go back, except to give you an example. Did we do patterns of this type of nature? If we didn't, that's fine. I think we did, but we did the 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2 pattern. This is going to be a lot easier. This is just going to be a regular 2 pattern, so we're just going to be placing 2s going down to the left. So we're going to first head back up here to these two lapis blocks that are making contact with the first blue wall that we had. And we're going to start underneath the left block of these two lapis blocks. Now this is going to be the trend throughout the entire empty space that we're going to the right. We're always going to start underneath the left block of the lapis, whether it be a 2 or a 3. So starting up here, this is our starting point, we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left. And it's going to be sets, so... They're just going to keep going down. I'm, do I know how many? Uh, I probably have to count it, but uh, I didn't bother counting it because this is just going to be a pattern set. So all you're going to do is place two blocks going down on the left, similar to what we did there. So we're going to do this. If it, I'm sure I didn't explain it well enough for you guys to understand. So that's two blocks that started from there. Then all we're going to do is just create a pattern of just twos going down on the left. There's no need for sets because all it is is just a pattern of twos going down on the left, like this. And it should make contact with these two or these five lapis blocks that we had. So this is the very simple pattern. All it is is just going two blocks down to the left and there's sets. And it should look like that. Now, of course, you're going to have to do this with me uh, step by step. Don't go ahead of yourself thinking everything is like that. It's not. Okay, so now we're going to go back up here. We're going to go to the next two lapis blocks here, to the left. And starting underneath, I should say, on the left, not to the left, but underneath the left. So from there, we're going to do the exact same thing. And this time, it should end with one block, only one block making contact with the ground. And you'll see what I mean. So starting from there, we'll do our little two patterns. Where it's just sets of twos going down on the left. Very simple and easy. And one. You can see that we only had enough room for one block. That's why it was only going to be one block making contact with the ground. That's fine. That's how it's supposed to be. Let's get rid of the placement blocks. And of course, if it is going a little too fast for you, make sure to hit that pause button. And of course, you can hit the pause button. Now, just to compare. Now we're going to move to the next two lapis blocks, starting underneath the left block of these two. So from there... We're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to have our pattern of twos going down on the left. And like I mentioned before, do not go ahead of me because it's not going to remain like this for this empty space. The pattern will change to something else and to other colors as well. So there we go. And this time, two blocks should have made contact. Uh, at least two blocks going down should have made contact with the crown this time. So let's get rid of those placements now. And now we're going to head back to these three here. Now, starting underneath the left block of these threes. And this is where the pattern kind of stops, or at least I should say the starting point for the pattern. Starting underneath the left block of these three. So from here, we're going to be placing the, the linked, well, it's not linked, the sets of twos, I should say, going down on the left. So starting from there, just place the sets of twos going down on the left. Very simple and easy. This is why... Uh, it was going to be the easiest one to instruct because all it is is just placing patterns. And of course, you may have noticed that only one block this time is going to be making contact with the ground. That's fine. That's how it's supposed to be. So I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. No hard, complicating, difficult kind of patterns that we had to do up there. Down here is just easy sailings, smooth sailings, I should say. Uh, all right, so now this time we're going to start from a different area. Instead of starting uh, starting underneath the left block of these next three, we're going to start from this block, and we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left. So that's one, two, and it should look like that. Okay. And now we'll just continue the pattern of these sets of twos going down on the left. 
So let's do that now. Just two blocks going down on the left. And boom, should make contact with the ground. Now let's get rid of the placement blocks. And now we're going to be switching over to a different color. And we're going to be switching uh, between these two colors, the cyan wool and the blue one. Uh, is it the lapis? All no, the for now anyways, it's going to be just the cyan and the blue wool. So starting off with the placement block, let's move to these three same uh, blue, uh, or not these three same, but uh, these three same lapis blocks that we have going across that was uh, the start for these blue sets. Starting underneath the middle block of these three, we're just going to be placing a placement block there. Now we're going to be switching over to the cyan wool. This is where we have to be precise. We can't just be placing sets anymore. Uh, for this part, we're going to be starting underneath the lap, uh, starting underneath the placement block, and we're going to be placing five sets of twos going down on the left. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, and one, two, five. Now let's get rid of every single placement let's head down and we're gonna switch back over to the blue wool and we're gonna make contact with the ground by just placing one blue wool going down to the left so that's one blue should look like that now we're gonna remain with the blue wool for now but we are gonna be keep uh keep the cyan wool in our inventory because we're gonna be switching back to it later now we're gonna head to the next Three lapis blocks. Don't get confused with this one because we already had that space there with the placement. But we're going to move to these three next lapis and we're going to start underneath the middle block by placing one blue wool underneath it. Let's so just place one blue wool there. And now from this one blue wool, we're going to continue the pattern that we've had going on so far. And we're just going to be placing sets of twos going down on the left. So that's. Those are the twos. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Very nice and simple. Get rid of the placement blocks, and it should look like that. Next, we're going to be switching over to the the cyan wool now. Now, with the cyan wool, we're going to be moving to our next starting point, which are these five these five uh, lapis blocks, and we're going to start underneath the left block of these five. So, starting from there. We're going to be just placing one cyan wall, so that's one. So from this one block of cyan wall now, we're going to be placing four sets of twos going down on the left. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, and one, two, four. Now we're going to get rid of the placements. And switch over to the blue wool, and we're going to finish this line by placing one blue wool going down to the left. That's one, and it should be making contact with the ground. Alright, now we're going to stay with the blue wool for this one. So with the blue wool, we're going to head back up here to the five lapis blocks. This time, starting underneath the middle block of the five, so it would be right there. We're going to be placing just the sets of twos going down to the left, and it should be at least five. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, and one, two, five. Even though I didn't really have to tell you the number, all it is is just the sets, so it's irrelevant. The number is irrelevant. All we're going to be doing is just the pattern. It's going to be simpler that way. Just for this section, not for every every future tutorial or anything like that. Okay, so now we're going to be switching over to the cyan wool. And for this next part, we are going to be needing a certain number of sets. So we're going to start from the left block of the 21 lapis blocks that we had going across, starting from here. We're going to be placing four sets of twos going down on the left. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, and one, two, four. Now let's get rid of the placements. Let's head back down. And we're going to be switching over to the blue wool and placing one blue wool going down to the left. That's one. Now we're going to be switching over to the 
let's see, blue wool. I, I guess we're going to stay with the blue wool, not really switch over to it. Although I do want to do something just before we continue, so I don't have to do another time lapse. You see this outline here of the lapis block that we created? On the outside of this lapis block, we're going to be filling in the bl uh, this empty space here that surrounds the outline of the lapis block with the blue wool. In other words, similar to what we did here, or pretty much the exact same thing. We did the outline of the lapis block, and then everything around the lapis block here, like this, we filled it in with blue wool. That's the exact same thing we're going to do down here. It doesn't really matter where you start from, just the outside of it, not any of the empty spaces that's in inside of it. So just everything on the outside of the lapis block. Right now, we're going to be filling that in with the blue wool, so we don't have to come back to that later. And we won't have to time-lapse that, although I will be time-lapsing most likely the filling in part when it comes to filling in those empty spaces that we're leaving behind between the lapis block, uh, the blue wool, and the cyan wool. But for now, let's just fill in these empty space. Uh, actually, I think it's just one empty space. It's just this large empty space. It's just surrounding the lapis. There we go, because we haven't had to cross over anything. So there we go. Very nice and simple. Filling in the surrounding space of that was the lapis, and I guess in between the Black will end the obsidian a bit. Okay, staying with the blue wool now, let's head back over here, back to the left side of the 21 lapis blocks that we had going across this time. So starting from here, we're going to be skipping over two spaces, leaving a, a two-block gap. So we're going to leave this space and this space and move to this space. So you can see with the placement block where you can use that as a measurement, we skip two block spaces in between the cyan wool and the blue wool here. So that's where we're going to start. We're going to be placing one blue wool there, and we're going to be, after that, we're going to be placing four sets of twos going down on the left. So, it's going to, let's switch these blocks around, there we go. So, it's going to look like this, that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, and one, two, four. Now, let's get rid of the placements. And now we're going to be only skipping a block space, but we're going to, this is going to be interchangeable. We're going to be skipping one, two, one, two, and sometimes we'll skip only two at a time. So for now, we're going to be skipping one empty space, so skipping one block, moving over here to the right. So that's going to be our starting point. We're going to be placing four sets of twos going down on the left with cyan wool. So we're switching to the cyan wool now, so that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, and one, two, four. Now let's get rid of the placements, and now we're going to switch back over to the blue, and we're going to finish this by placing one blue wool going down to the left. So that's one. Now we're going to be switching back over to, or I should say, staying with the blue wool, because it's cyan wool, blue wool, cyan wool, blue wool. So staying with the blue wool, and switching our little spots in between these two here, uh, we're going to move back up here, and this time we're going to be leaving a two-block space in between the blue wool and the starting point, or in between the cyan wool and the starting point of the blue wool. So, you know, that's one, two, and we're going to start from there, leaving a two-block empty gap in between these. So just put one blue wool there, and then you're going to be placing four sets of twos going down on the left. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, and one, Two, four. Let's get rid of the placements. And now we're going to be switching back over to the cyan wall. And with the cyan wall, this time we're only going to leave one block space, just one block gap in between these two. So just skipping one block over and starting from there, we're going to be placing four sets of twos going down on the left. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, and one. Two, four. Let's get rid of the placement blocks. And we're going to close this off with just the cyan wool. We're not going to be using the blue wool for this one. So just place one cyan wool going down to the left. That's one. Now we're going to be switching back over to the blue wool. Let's head all the way back up here. We're going to be leaving a two block gap in between the starting point. So we're going to start from here, skipping over two blocks, by placing just one blue wool there. So that's one. And now from this one block, we're going to be placing four sets of twos going down on the left. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, and one, two, four. 
Let's get rid of the placements. Once you've done that, we're going to be switching back over to the cyan wall. And with the cyan wall, we're only going to be skipping one block, so leave just a one block gap. And we're going to start from there. Now from here, we're going to be placing four sets of twos going down on the left. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, and one, two, four. Now let's get rid of the placements. Let's head back down. And we're going to be switching over to the blue wall for this one. And with the blue wall, we're going to be placing one blue going down to the left. Down to the left, so that's one. Now once you've done that, we're going to head back, let's say, uh, up here. But we're going to stay with the cyan wall. We're going to switch, So we're going to switch back over to the cyan wall for the remainder of this part of the outline. And we're only going to be skipping a two gap now. So leave a two block gap. And start from there by placing one cyan wall, so that's one. And now place four sets of twos going down on the left. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, and one, two, four. Now let's get rid of those placements. And now let's head back up here. And we're going to just leave a block gap from our starting point, so we're just going to be pretty much making contact with these lapis. So starting from there, we're going to be placing four sets of twos going down on the left. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, and one, two, four. Let's get rid of the placements. Let's head back down. And we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. So that's one. Now I'm going to be flying back a bit so you can see the entire thing of what we've done with the simple pattern it shouldn't have been too hard at all to follow along and get all of this done because now that we've done this we're going to be switching back over to the lapis block now with the lapis block we're going to be filling in every single empty space that we left here in between the blue wool and the cyan wool so everything gets filled in with the lapis so go ahead and do that now and when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. Very nice and simple. We are finally done with the right side of Sub-Zero. This was a long journey, but there is still a journey to be traveled before finishing the entire thing. Now, I did say I wanted to work a little bit on this area here, but uh, I want to save that for the next part. And to get ready for the next part... I need you to do something for me. We're going to delete some blocks so we can get prepped and ready for the next part. So from the area that we just finished filling in, we're going to head all the way back up here. You can see that we have some of these random uh, block of coals going kind of down to the left and a little bit up to the left and whatnot. We're going to get rid of some of these, and you're only going to get rid of a specific few. So we're going to start up here with these nine block of coals. Again, this is just to get ready for the next part of the tutorial because uh, I just it, it's going to go a lot smoother if we don't have these parts and we just kind of build around it. So first we're going to get rid of this one block of coal that's underneath the left block of these nine. So get rid of this one here. You're also going to be getting rid of uh, the next one that follows it down here to the left. And once you've done that, we're going to be getting rid of, uh, let's say, these two here as well to the left. Let's get rid of those two. Now we're going to move down here, and we're also going to get rid of these two. So get rid of those as well. So those are the only blocks that we're going to get rid of, and that should set us up for the next part of uh, the tutorial for the Sub-Zero, which will be out a lot sooner than uh, this one was supposed to be. So don't worry about it, you're going to get the next part for the Sub-Zero. But I now have to go work on several other parts that have to be out by uh, by the end of the week and a new time lapse and whatnot. So don't worry about it. You're gonna get your pixel art tutorials. We are gonna finish this. The scorpion tutorial was a long journey, so this is going to be no different. This is going to be a long journey, but believe me, for those of you who did complete the scorpion pixel art tutorial for the Mortal Kombat, you know that the wait was well worth it and it looks amazing in your Minecraft worlds because you guys have been sending me pictures of it. So that looks awesome. So don't worry about it. It's going to get done. Just have a little patience. So with all that being said, make sure to stay tuned in for more Minecraft videos.